You may not be at the start of my video. There you go. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking hair care. Very excited um, because I've been getting questions about how I curl my hair and I figured YouTube is probably the best way to do a whole tutorial on my hair right now. So obviously all this changes, like as my hair changes, I cut it often, I take my extensions out, keep them in. Right now I have three rows of extensions in, in my hair. My natural hair is all right here, so it's pretty short. Um, this is kind of the top layer, but the bottom layer is a little longer, but you get it. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over how I sleep with my hair, which is this and why. How I wash my hair, what I use, and then products I use and how I curl my hair. So let's get into it. Also, don't say a damn thing about my nails. They're a hot ass mess. Okay, that's just where we're at. Also, I got some makeup in my nails. That ain't cute. Anyways. Okay, so let's start with how I currently sleep in my hair. So I have extensions, like I said, this is my natural hair, so it's pretty short. In order to keep it intact, because if I do not do anything with my hair at night, my the crown of my head will get crazy, crazy messy. Also, I'm in a robe because I am baking in a self tan, if you're wondering. So I will link the robe company below though. They have the softest, comfiest, cutest little patterns. I'll I love them, um, but back to hair. Uh, so basically I will tie it off with a scrunchie. That's kind of how I keep my natural layers like intact is like tie it off with a scrunchie. Then I'll put a couple little braids, actually just one big ass braid in my hair to preserve like any curl that I have from the day before. Um, it's just easier for me so I don't have to curl every single piece. I'm not sure how well it stayed in last night, uh, but we'll see. And then I'll do just like a little ponytail at the bottom to keep it intact. So that's how I sleep. I wash my hair once a week. Um, I feel like this is a combo of having a dry scalp and my skin just like, or my hair just doesn't get oily. And also, I don't know. I've just been going a long time for the last like 10 years of my life without washing my hair every day, every other day, just cause I'm lazy. And I feel like I really was able to train my hair to not get oily. Um, I'm not, I don't really know much about that. All I know is my hair doesn't get very oily, so I only wash it once a week. But if I ever do need to wash it like real quick, I will just tie back my extensions and only wash this top layer. And then I'll just wait for my once a week wash because all this hair is a lot to wash, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I wash it once a week. The products I used to wash it are from Orbe and I got this brand, I got hooked on this brand from my salon here in Nashville. Their shade salon, they're the fucking best. I love them. Such good girls and they're really talented at what they do. Um, but I use this anti-dandruff shampoo from Orbe. It smells so good and it's really nice for my scalp. And then as a conditioner, I'll go in with the same Orbe product, but it's like the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Conditioner. I'm pretty sure this is their like main line, um, but it smells so good. Like, let's just let's get a whiff. <laughs> Love. I'll use that as shampoo and conditioner. And then sometimes I'll also do Bondi Boost thickening um, line. I really like their shampoo and conditioner too. And plus they're full of like really good ingredients. They also have a really good um, purple mask. I think it's called like blue purple baby blonding mask. I don't know. It is so good if you need some um, like toner in your hair, if your hair's feeling a little brassy. And then um, recently, just cause I think I was traveling I might have ordered this for the wedding. We needed some for my hair, or for the extensions, I forget. But um, this is just from like a Sephora you can get it at, and it's pretty good. It's just like a blonding shampoo, I don't know. So that's what I've been using right now for shampoo and conditioner. As far as products after I wash my hair, so like when your hair is kind of damp, I will use this. It's been the best because I live in Tennessee and the um, humidity is shit here. It's wild. So I basically coat this all over my hair and it helps with the humidity. And then um, I will do like a cocktail. And like, I might sound like I know what I'm talking about right now, 
but that is because my hair salon has helped me come up with like a hair regimen i would say hair i am least exper experienced with i have the least experience with um so this has all been advised by my salon so shout out shade for helping your girl out um but i will mix this and then i'll mix this both orbe products this is dope if you're gonna invest in an orbe product invest in this it's called the hair alchemy fortifying treatment serum and i use this i'll show you i use it in dry hair but i also use it in wet hair so right now we're talking about wet hair damp hair i will mix these two this one is super shine light moisturizing cream so i'll mix these two put them in and call it a day so i'm only using these three products after the shower and then the rest of the shit is for dry hair so i'll have to take my hair out my hair my curling iron is heating up I'm using the Bile Ionic Long Barrel Curling Iron. I will link the exact one below. I don't know. I feel like this is one inch, but I'm not 100% sure. The Long Barrel is really good for anybody with extensions, but I use it on 320. You don't need to go any hotter than that, I feel like. Unless your hair is super, super coarse, um, but just be careful because it heats up. It gets pretty hot. Okay, so that's what we're working with. We got a little bit of a curl going on, but not really. So I'm gonna take my wet brush and brush her on out. Okay, so as you can see, the top part of my hair, it's looking pretty good. I feel like it's because I sleep like that. <laughs> That's really the only reason why. So I'll divide my hair into two, one side, one side, you know, and then we're gonna go in with this shit that I just suggested you get, the hair alchemy fortifying stuff. I'll take like that much, mix it in and then very lightly just like go throughout my hair. I feel like this helps with protecting it from the heat I'm about to use. Um, I think I might need a little more cause my hair is feeling a little dry at the moment. I just got my hair done and sometimes after I get it done, you know, it's like freshly blonded. So it just needs a little extra moisture, but um, I'll put this in and it just kind of helps with, it's a combo of helping with like the heat that I'm about to put on it and any flyaways that are going on. And it just makes it look less dry, kind of like an oil. Then I'm gonna use the Mystifying Restyling Spray from Orbe. Orbe, if you wanna call your girl and partner, let me know. Clearly I love your shit. Um, and then I'll just spray this like lightly on everything. And it also helps with just like the flyaways, so. I'll let that dry, maybe brush it through once, and then we're gonna start curling. Okay, so this next step is kind of weird and only happens to me, really. Um, but I'm gonna share it, because that's where we're at. So I'm taking every part of my hair from the bottom of the last extension I have. Do you see my real hair? It's so blunt that when my hair is down, it looks so stupid, because you can see it. So this is what I have to do for the time being until my hair grows out a little bit and it blends, but it's fine. That's what I get for cutting my hair short and then wanting to go long. So what I do is just take one of these little rubber bands and I will tie it in a ponytail. <laughs> and you're probably like, Kelsey, can't people see that? Yeah, yeah, they can. But I just try to keep some hair in the back <laughs> so that it's not really noticeable. But that's what it looks like. My hairstylist said that she used to do a bun. Some people braid it. I just like, I'm too lazy to do that. So I just put, <laughs> put it in a ponytail and hope no one sees it, you know? So there we go. Now we are ready to curl. See, you can't see it all underneath anymore now. So I'll just put some hair in, in the back, keep some in the front. Good to go, okay? All right. But for now, we're bringing them both in the front. All right, so we're starting in the back. I always curl from the back to the front. And honestly, I'm not the best at explaining how to do this, but hopefully from you guys being able to just watch, it'll help. So we're gonna curl away from the face. Some people do away from the face and then towards the face, but I always do just away. So I'm gonna go over the hair once or twice, just smoothing it out, okay? Smoothing it out. Now we're going to clamp it at the top, pull down about halfway, curl it up. So that's what we're working with. 
You wanna make sure the hair is flat on the curling iron and not like bunched up. I'll show you. Sometimes I'll hold this. And I'm not a professional at this, so that's why it might not be super smooth. I'll hold this and just slide it down. Slide it down until there. Cause I always wanna leave a little bit out at the bottom and then I'll curl it back up again. Okay, this is the part that gets a little tricky. Hang in there with me. We're going to unravel while we're pulling. Unravel and pull. Unravel and pull and slide. Woo, okay. Do we got it? And that's what it's gonna look like. It's a little beachy of a curl with a straighter bottom. So we're gonna throw that in the back and let it cool down. Okay, let's do it one more time. So we're gonna go over it once, go over it twice. I'm gonna come to the middle, curl up, chill there for a minute, bring it down all the way till you have some left at the bottom, curl it back up. I feel like I'm doing a good job explaining this. I really hope so. <laughs> and then we're gonna unwind while we're pulling. Unwind and pull, unwind and then pull it all the way out. Ta-da! That's going in the back. Now when it comes to the top section, if you have extensions, you'll appreciate this tip if you need it. Um, clearly my hair, my natural hair is shorter than my extensions. You don't wanna curl this part because you're gonna be able to tell, you don't wanna curl this alone because you're gonna be able to tell it's, it's its own piece. You want it to blend into the rest of the hair. So what I like to do is grab a section of my natural hair and then I'll take a section of extension. So right there and I'll curl that together. And I will only curl, like I'll start the entire curl on the end of where my natural hair starts. Is that making sense? So that it curls in together. And I won't hold it on very long. And this is what I mean by when I say like, when my hair is longer, it allows my natural hair to like grow because I'm not putting as much heat on it and I'm only putting heat on the end. You see what I mean by that though? Like it just blends in. You can't even tell really. It's a separate piece of hair. So yeah, that's what you do. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. And then the front will be another, you know, lesson because a lot of us have shorter pieces in the front and it's annoying as fuck. So I'm gonna help you figure it out. Also, sometimes I do, I'll show you. Sometimes I do this too. So pull it out, same thing, what I just talked about. A little more, okay. Sometimes I will unravel, unravel, and then I'll curl it back up again. Unravel, 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 and pull. And this just makes it like hella curly and spirally. Like let's like brush that out so you can see like what it kind of does. Okay, so that's gonna make it like, I don't know, very, very curly, whereas like the other hair, is just gonna be a little more like straighter and then wavy. Is this, hopefully you guys can see, and this makes sense. Do you see that one? It's more spirally. So sometimes I'll throw that in the mix, just, you know, to create more dimension, but yeah, that's really all I do. It's honestly practice takes perfect, so. I feel like sometimes when I used to watch curling tutorials, and let me tell you, I have, I haven't always been able to curl my hair. Like it's just, took, it took a minute. You should see my high school prom pictures. My hair looks whack. Okay, you're gonna unravel, 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 and you're gonna pull it down. But I was gonna say, I feel like sometimes tutorials go too fast, so I'm trying to really go slow for you guys. So yeah, that's kind of the technique. We're gonna keep it going, and then I'll catch you guys on the other side. Grabbing a piece, going over it like I just did on the other side. 
This side we're curling away from our face too, but we're gonna be curling the opposite way, if that makes sense. So we're going down. You got it, girl. Curling up. Sometimes I just hold the piece, cause like, I don't know. I was saying before that like, I'm not naturally good at curling my hair, so it takes me a minute to figure things out. So that's kind of why I hold the piece, just so like it doesn't get, I don't know, in the way with other hairs. Pull it down, pull it down, and coming out. Woohoo. And you can see sometimes you might notice that I um, sometimes will do like three curl ups. Does that make sense? So, okay. We're going over the hair. We're going over the hair. We're coming down about one third of the way, curling up. I'll go down two thirds of the way, curl up. And then I'll go down the other one third and curl up. So sometimes I'll do three, sometimes I'll do two. I feel like the curls, I don't know, always kind of end up the same. Just because my hair is longer, I have to do three, but if your hair is shorter, you probably only have to do two. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll get to the front part, which is kind of confusing. Also, you would think that I'm sponsored by them, but I'm not, I'm just obsessed. They do send me them. I mean, I bought all those, but they, they will send me some flavors, but yeah, I just drink them for free. Um, okay, so typically the braid that I sleep in helps with keeping the underneath curls intact. So I only have to like, I really touch up the top, um, but because of the video here today, I figured we'd just do all of it. Okay, so all of that is done. It's curl, er, curling it's cooling in the back of my head so let's talk about the front okay my the front of my hair is very complicated so this is for my girls who also have complicated fronts of hair um this is the part of my natural hair that i'm currently trying to grow because my the rest of my natural hair is down here the top layer and the front's right here um just breakage it's been years and i haven't been able to get it to grow it's starting to grow because I'm taking vitamins, Nutrafol, it's helping. Okay, so anyways, this is what I've been doing to try to get it all to blend together because not like so, 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 so bad. I want my hair to just look like it blends. I don't want it to look like it has all these front layers. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I do. So this piece, I still just like need to curl as normal. So I'm gonna do that. Going over it twice. Hopefully this is helping. Curl it up, coming down. Okay, so when it comes to these front pieces, I'm really careful with what pieces I put in, like into what curl. So I'm gonna take this section, this is the last of my extension. I'm gonna curl that. When I curl, I wanna make sure that I'm pulling down and I'm going in the direction of like down because that's how it's gonna blend easiest, like that if that makes sense. Like if you curl out, it's just gonna like, I feel like the little ends of your shorter layers are gonna be able to be shown. Okay, so up here is kind of the most confusing area. And this might be very niche. Like you guys might have great fronts of your hair, but your girl does not. So this section, that's like not quite my bang yet. I will just curl like normal. And I will just try to blend it in to like that curl to kind of look the same, okay? Success. Then I'm gonna take maybe one more piece of hair and do that same exact thing. My back hurts like a bitch from sitting on the ground. Okay, so I'll do that. This is where it gets tricky, at least for me. 
for a while I couldn't figure out how to curl this piece without it like coming up and over and I wanted it to be just like really pretty and in line with the rest of my hair. So this is all my hairstylist taught me, okay? Whenever you want your hair to kind of look like curtain bangs or flow like curtain bangs, you want to kind of, excuse me if I explain this wrong, but you'll see what I'm doing. You kind of want to bring the hair out to the opposite side to get it to go that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the curling iron, we're gonna pull it the opposite way, and then at the end, we're gonna lightly, and I'm clamping because I want it to be light, we're gonna curl up. Like that. <laughs> that was not the best example, but, well, explaining example, but slay. Slay! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, okay? So it looks like it goes within the hair and it's flowing into the curl, but it's not like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do this side. Same thing, we're taking a piece of hair and this is just gonna be up to you how you like to hold the curling iron. Like some people will still do it this way. For me, it works better if I kind of go up and do it like this. I don't know. It's just a personal thing. <laughs> it is a personal thing. So that is literally just the same way I curled the rest of my head. I just held the curling iron weird. And now I'm gonna go into the weirder pieces. Actually, I probably could still go this way. Yeah, that's normal. You don't wanna hold too long. Cause you don't want it super duper curly, you know what I'm saying? Just a little, a little curl. Okay, even this piece, I want like this much in front before I do like the swoopy thing. So I'm even gonna curl this little guy, just like very lightly, just so he matches, just so he fits in there. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through this one more time. So we have the bang right here, and this goes for anyone who wants to like style curtain bang vibes, um, whatever. So you're gonna take the hair, this is what I meant by this is the easiest way for me to do it. So I'm going over it once, okay? I'm pulling it this way, and then once I get to the bottom, I'm curling, but I'm not putting too much heat on the curling iron. That's why I've, I kind of go like that. And that's what happens. And then you got like some perfect bang situation. Okay, now the rest of the hair is about ready to be brushed out. So I'll literally just go back with my brush or I'll use my fingers. I feel like I do both. Okay, that's what it looks like. Cute, okay? Now we're gonna use some products just to finish it up. So this stuff is interesting. It's called Swept Up Volume Powder Spray. And my hair salon uses this from Orbe. I'll link all this. But I will literally just put some right here just to get a little bit of volume in my root. Helps a lot. So use that. And then sometimes if I have little pieces right here that are separating, I'll take this, I don't even know what this is, Kenra Platinum Texturizing Putty. This is my favorite. I'm not gonna use it today because it, my bangs are banging. Actually, I could use it right here to just like, you only need a little, like a very little bit on your finger. It just like helps kinda, I don't know, stiffen the hair a little bit more. So, I love that. And then, hairspray. Fine Mist Hairspray and Texturizing Spray, both from Orbe. So the Fine Mist Hairspray I like to use when I'm about to go outside, um, cause it's humid as hell here, but I'll also use it on my root, on my top layer just to keep any flyaways down. And it's Fine Mist, so like, it's not gonna make your hair crunchy or weird shit. We'll just spray it in there for now. Texturizing Spray in a spray bottle or matte waves texturizing like cream so there's two different kinds that i like to use um honestly it's whatever i'm feeling they're basically the same product but this stuff makes your hair a little less crunchy than the texture spray maybe i'll use the texture spray on the other side so you guys can kind of see the, and i'm just going in and i'm like going like this to each curl just to kind of separate it and make my hair look a little bigger because i really like that look of like you know bigger hair Okay, so that's that side. 
and then we'll use this stuff on this side. Okay, so both kind of do the same thing. I don't know, I kind of prefer this cream stuff. Just feels better in the hair. But yeah. And then whenever it comes to my bangs, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but I'll kind of go like this. And then I'll like, some people like clip them up here just to like have them set. But I'll just like kind of go like that. So yeah. That's the hair tutorial today. Also, if you're about to do your makeup, like sometimes I'll do my hair, I'll put my bangs behind my ears, do my makeup, and it just like, something about tucking your hair behind your ear gives you, I mean, if you know, you know, it gives you the best like natural kind of just nice front wave. Um, so you could do that too. But yeah, this is the hair. This is how it looks in the back. Can't really see my pony. <laughs> so I just bring some pieces in the front, hang out like that. There you go, guys. Hopefully this video helped. Um, I feel good that I finally got a hold on like my hair routine because for a while I was like, I, I this is not working. Like my natural hair is not growing. I want to put less heat on it. What do I do? I had really short hair for a minute and I was having a hard time curling it without like damaging it by so much heat. So this is where we're at. Um, so hopefully this video helps. I'm gonna go film some more shit for Instagram. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have the best day and I'll catch y'all in a week or two. Bye. Mwah.